Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce Hunt. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about custom spinner in Lightning Web Component. So if you are new in this channel, so please like, share, comment. Also you can watch this video until end and don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn something new. You can subscribe my channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to create your custom LWC component. So how to create that? So just press Ctrl C P if you are using window. So Ctrl C P and create the Lightning Web Component. So Ctrl C P create Lightning Web Component and give the component name. So right now I'm giving this custom spinner demo component name. Just click on Enter and select this path by default. Okay. And once you enter it, now our component is created successfully. Now here we have to design. Uh, first of all the HTML. So let me open the HTML and uh, this uh, XML file. So in the HTML we have to design this HTML first. Let's say I want to use like LWC card. So you have to select like LWC card. Not this one. We can use another one. So here we have LWC card. So this is the card here. Let me remove everything from this card and change this uh, you know uh, card a variant everything you can remove from here if you want so let me remove this one because this is a reusable component you can use this spinner any other component as well so here in this card lightning card you can add like mark of language so here let me add one div here so this is the div under this div we need to write some css so align so i need to use like align equal to center so this is the CSS, so align and after that we can use some conditional statement and for now I'm using like LWC if because based on this condition we can you know uh, so and hide this spinner based on this let's say is property. So this like spinner is a spinner after that you can write another div and this div contain uh, empty div and have the one class that is loader okay so we have to add this class because we have to write the css uh, based on this spinner and we will see in the action after some time so just you have to design first of all this html part and later on we will see this one and here in this div we have to write let's say please wait and this dot dot something like that right so once you've done these things now you have to to create another div uh, to check the button rear and based on this button we can handle it okay so now here just do one thing we can use here like uh, under here we have to use another div under this div we have to write again align okay align equal to center and this align have another you know condition that is lwc if and this condition have like is so button something like so button right under this div you can write like lwc button so this is the lwc button here you can see so enable spinner or so spinner you can use it based on your requirement right so our div is created button is created card is also created and under this you know template let me save this html first once you save this html now you have to do again uh, some you know js task so just go to this js under this js you have to do one thing just come down and here in this js file you have to write that property as a based on requirement right so in html we have like easy spinner so easy spinner is initially it will false false so you can maintain like false here like false and another one that is so button so so button here you can see the another condition so let me take this so button as true first time right so now we can maintain this property as a boolean here and after that we have to use our event so our event is handle button click so just copy this handle button click paste it here and maintain this handle button click here like if right some condition not this dot is a spinner something like that 
So here you can see easy spinner will be true and uh, so button is false. So this is the condition at the time of button click. Okay, so this is the simple logic. You have to write this one. Once you write it, now you have to do one thing. Here, just come down and uh, you have to create uh, one CSS file. So how to create the CSS file? You can create the CSS file based on, you know, your component name. So let me copy this component name and in the uh, this component directory and based on this component folder just create a new file here just click on new file under new file you have to write like dot uh, css and c must be small because all the file have the small letter so you have to consider it once you write uh, created this file now you have to use that class we already created that is loader under this class we have to write some css so how to write the css very simple just First of all, let me add the border like 5px solid. Okay, solid and, and this is the color. Solid, this, this. And border radius, this border radius, 50%. Uh, so we have to add 50%. Border top, we have to use like border top and border top 5px solid, this color. Right. And also we have to write some other things like width and height like 60-60, uh, not 50-50. We have to change it like 60 pixel, 60 pixels and WebKit animation. We have to give here that is a spin, a spin and this is a 2s means 2 seconds, right? And linear infinitive. So this is the uh, CSS property. You have to use it. Okay. Now you have to use like animation and uh, to spin linear infinitive like that. So this is the simple CSS regarding this button that is loader. And now we have to use like some WebKit framework, right? So how to use that? So here, if you are using like Safari, so you have to write uh, this uh, code for Safari, right? So Safari here, and after this one you can write your code so how to write that code so here you can see like uh, add to hyphen webkit hyphen keyframe spin and zero percent webkit transfer rotate zero degree and after that you have to do one thing here just you have to use like hundred percent as well like this okay so now let me save this one and once you save it now you can see our component successfully deployed and this is for Safari. Now we have to use another key framework that is uh, 0 and 100 and 100 to 360. So how to use that? So this is for, you know, key uh, WebKit framework, uh, frame, key frames spin. And now we have to use like key frame spin now other uh, things, right? So now here we have to use at here. You can see this one, right? So let me remove this one here and this is for keyframe spin 0 to 100 degree and 100 degree to uh, transform rotate 360 so this is a simple css you have to remember uh, for this custom spinner in lwc so let me save this css and once you save it now our component deployed successfully now let's see in the action so let me expose this component as true because I need to use this, uh, you know, component inside my, uh, you know, lightning app page, home page, record page, something like that. So let me deploy it. Now successfully deployed here. Open the Salesforce hook. Click on this gear icon. Edit this page. Once you edit this page, now you have to drag and drop your component. And this is the like component spinner demo. So just drag and drop anywhere as you want. So like this, save this. Once you save it, now you have to activate this page. Click on this activate. Assign to default all. Next and save. And go back here. Back. And once you go back here, now you can see the button, right? Just click on this button. Immediately you can see the uh, custom loader or custom spinner here. Like please wait. So you can reuse this component inside your parent component, child component based on your requirement. And this is the different from other, 
you know spinner because self already provide lots of spinner that is standard spinner if you want to override that spinner based on your custom one so also this is the code to work on it okay so this is the loader you can use it anywhere as you want now uh, guys i hopefully you learn something new in this video if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so you can like share comments also subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see you again bye bye